Kiana with PMP Crafters. Welcome back to the channel. So we are going to learn how to do two of these lovely balloon menu items. The first video, which is going to be this video, I'm going to show you how to do a balloon column as well as do the uh, balloon garland for a backdrop. In the other video, I will show you how to do two more. But what we're going to do in this one is we're gonna show you how you can use Canva in its free items to do so. So first thing we're going to do is get our balloons. Let me show you how. Okay, so one of the things that you can do is go on to the website of your favorite balloon company to see if they have ways for you to actually get their um, color log. So Qualitex actually has where you can do that. So you're gonna go onto Inspirations. Once that comes up, we're gonna go into the marketing um, area here. Click on Download Materials. Now once this comes up, right on my screen, the fourth one, which is the Qualitex Color Library. Now, I really like that they actually give you the different colors. And so as you can see the little balloons here, you can download just the certain colors that you would like, but um, I went to download all. So what you're gonna do is click on download all and it's gonna give you all of the colors here. And what is super cool is that they're also giving you the double stuff color. So you'll have your single color and then they give you some double stuff colors and the names of the balloons are here, like which ones they're, um, the two balloons they're putting together. And then that way you're able to really create good uh, mock-ups based off of your single colors and your double stuff colors. So go ahead and download that and I'll show you what you're gonna do with it next. Okay, now that we have our Qualitex files in our computer, we are gonna make sure that we take that zip file, open it up so that way we're able to actually view those items and this is what we're gonna do next. So I like to use poster or go into custom size and use like a standard sheet of paper. So I'm just gonna go in to poster. Poster is just a little bit longer if you were gonna actually print this out in a certain size then you can do so. But if you're just gonna be sending it to someone or printing it out in a standard sheet of paper, then you can go with the standard sheet of paper. So this time we're gonna use just a standard sheet of paper. Okay, so once you have that up, now first let me show you how you're going to actually put in your balloon files. So you can go into your uploads and do that, but I've already created a actual folder. And so you can create folders. Once you go in there, you can create folder because you would simply click on the dots here, create new folder inside of a folder, or you can just go into your uploads and then click on create new folder. Once you have your new folder, of course I've labeled mine Qualitex, you can then start downloading them in, in here. So what you would do is just, once you have the folder open, of course, click upload and upload your balloon images. Um, one thing I did is I started, it's in alphabetical order, and I started with A and went all the way down to Y. So now mine is backwards. This is our last balloon, which is yellow something. And then all the way at the bottom here is the one that starts with an A. So if you want yours in alphabetical order from top to bottom, then do so. If you want yours in color order, then you probably have to go through there and find um, each one of them that have a yellow tone, each one of them that have a blue tone, and so on and so forth. But okay, so once we have all of the Qualitex balloons downloaded, or if you decide to go with um, a different balloon brand, like I was able to find Tough Text as well, then um, you can use that as well. And the ones that you're able to download, most of them you're gonna do exactly the same way here. 
But okay, so now that we have that in, let me show you how to create those perfect circle bubbles that look like balloons. So what you wanna do is you wanna click on elements. Once you go into elements, you want to go to frames. I've been in here so many times that mine is already up here, but most of the time you can go into the different categories. Frames will be down in, in the search bar below, or of course you can type it in to the search bar right here. So as you can see, frames, if yours doesn't pop up with it right in front, just click on to view all of them and you'll go down until you find the circle. Now, I am simply just going to left click on it and it's gonna pop up onto my paper. I'm going to make it just a little bit smaller just so it'll be easier for me to work with. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and duplicate because we're gonna use it for three different colors. Most garlands are three colors or more. So yes, we're going to do three colors. So now that I have this three here, I am going to go back into my Qualitex folder and I am going to pull the three colors that I would like to use. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this red and I'm simply going to, I'm gonna resize it a little bit first so that way you guys can actually see if I just bring it right over one of the circles, it'll pop right into that frame. Now, as you can see, it's not a perfect circle because there's out the outlining, it's trying to fill it in. So what I wanna do is double click on it. Once I double click, then I can move the actual balloon image around. I'm gonna make it just a little bit bigger, but I wanna make sure that I keep those shiny, glossy marks in there so that way it creates that real balloon glow-like effect. Then when I'm done, just click done. And as you can see, it's a perfect round bubbly circle. So now I'm gonna choose my other two colors. All right, and here we go. We have our three balloon colors that we are going to work with. Now that we have this, let's actually make something. We're gonna make a uh, balloon columns first. I will show you how to do so. So with our three colors, I want to make a balloon column that has um, the colors rotating around. So first thing I'm gonna do is resize these. I'm gonna make it small because since we are making a balloon menu, they don't have to be super huge. To start our balloon columns, there's two things you can do. Um, with the rotating around, you can start with two colors and then build up to three, um, or you can start with three and um, alternate around. But either way, it'll go in a pattern. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with our three. I'm gonna have my black starting on the left side. I'll have my my red in the middle. I'm gonna bring it forward. And then I'm gonna have my gold underneath. So we can start this way with our three, or we can start with our two. I'm gonna show you what it looks like starting with our three. I'm gonna do that first. Okay, so this is our first layer. Now, when we get ready to do our second layer, we are going to remove the color that is to our right, which will be our gold color. So our next layer will have our red. And then our black. And we want to place these in here the best that we can. Okay, so now we have our second layer. Now when it comes to our third layer, whichever color we did not use, we are then going to use it to the left. So it started off with the gold color being on the right. We're gonna bring it back in, but we're gonna bring it back in on the left. And then now the color that's gonna be in the middle will be our black. And the color that's gonna be to our right will be our red. And I'm gonna move that red one, move the layer to the back, so that way it sits behind 
our center color and it gives it more of a rotating feel. All right, now we're gonna continue our three, two, three pattern all the way up. Now, once you have your column put together, we now need a balloon on top. So you can choose what color you would like to put on top. I am going to put a black one on top. So I'm gonna duplicate it. And then I'm just gonna make it big enough to where it looks like it is one of the large balloons that are 16 or larger. I'm gonna bring it to the back so that way it really looks like it's sitting within our column. Okay, now we are going to do a backdrop uh, balloon garland. So your freestyling balloon garland is what we're going to do next. So if you have a picture of a backdrop that you've done, um, this is what I'm gonna be doing. So I uploaded it in here, let me find it. And I'm um, simply going to click on it, bring it in. Um, now, if you don't have a Canva Pro, you're not going to be able to take out the backdrop on Canva, but there are some free apps that you can Google. Um, just typing in background removal and find those. But I'm going to go ahead and use Canva Pro by clicking on edit photo and then go into my background removal tool. Okay, so what I'm going to do is now create clusters. I'm simply going to duplicate my circles here and create clusters. Okay, so now that we have this put together, we've got our clusters here. We can also, if we wanted to add to make the clusters a little bigger, a little smaller, we can create our clustering effect this way. You really want to form these the way you actually build balloon garlands. And if you are doing these type of designs and you don't actually do balloon garlands, you're just doing designs for a client or someone that does do balloon garlands, then I would suggest using the three cluster method. But if you're, you know, if you actually do balloon garlands and different things like that, then you may can build your clusters like this starting off. But what you want to do, we're going to do it the simple way and just start adding in our balloons and we're going to size them accordingly to what we feel looks nice. So now once I have my garland here, I'm just gonna simply add in some more of the small clusters in each color. Okay, so once you are finished with that, you can add anything that you would like to, but this is an example of how you can use the Qualitex balloon files as well as the frames to create balloon columns and a balloon garland. Now, once you have this done, do you see how great this is? You can then give it to any clients to give them an idea of how their columns 
or garland will look with their backdrop at their event. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and make sure that you catch the next video where we'll continue to make more balloon designs for our balloon menu. Happy crafting.